Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today we're going to talk about the makeup that I used in April and uh, talk about which was my favorite. I gotta be honest, it was all pretty fine and uh, that's about it. So let's get to it. There are a lot of eyeshadow palettes and quite a few lip products. Most of this is the Colourpop Avatar The Last Airbender Collection. This is one thing that I'm not going to rank because it's not new and I have used it before but I was using it a lot last month. And that is the uh, Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. This is so beautiful. I love my makeup every time I wear this palette. I just think that this is a beautiful palette. I haven't even dived into these blues that much somehow. But I'm just really enjoying this every time I use it. So this is like an honorable mention favorite. I'm not ranking it, but I love it. I was using the Viseart Dark Edit Palette last month. And I, you know, I always talk crap about eyeshadow prices because I am cheap and there are high-end brands that, that this is their pricing. They're, this is their pricing and they're just high-end. Vizier is one of those. I do think that this palette is really pretty. Every time I use it I'm like oh yeah these purples are really nice, aren't patchy, they blend really well, they build really well. I do really like this palette. I'm not gonna buy all the Vizier palettes. But I do like this one. We have a couple of the BH Cosmetics um, Birthstone palettes. I found these at TJ Maxx. The green one is the emerald one. Of course I love this. The colors are beautiful. The formula is lovely. I didn't use the pressed glitter in either of them. I I'm never going to be mad at these types of colors. These are some of my very favorite to wear. Um, and then also the Aquamarine palette. This is a little bit different color story than I would normally go for. I don't really have a lot of blues like this. This slightly shy color up here. Gorgeous. Slightly shy, but love blue. That's me. That is actually exactly. See, we have the ColourPop, what are these called? French Kiss, not French, Fresh Kiss. I'm pretty sure I've always called these French Kiss, so that's my bad. Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in um, Fanatic and Sealed with a Kiss. I like both of these colors. I don't think that these stain very well. Um, they're more like a thin gloss, in my opinion, so they don't last forever. I, I wish they stained a little more, but they don't feel crusty you know, or like they're fading weird. I like both of these, and I love like an orangey red. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer Soft Matte. I have a love-hate relationship with primers because I want to use them, I want to smooth out my skin so the rest of my makeup applies well, but I also don't think they do anything when I'm not putting a foundation or a lot of concealer over them. I'm not wearing concealer today, I know I need to. I just don't like the feeling of foundation, even a lot of concealer, especially in the summer. I just don't want to do it. Maybe that's wrong, but I don't care because it's my face. So I don't feel the need to keep a lot of primers, but I also can't fairly say how this works because like, did this mattify my skin? No. But I also wasn't putting a product over it that would break up or potentially get oily other than just my oily skin. You know? I'm going to keep it. I don't really have like a solid review for this. So that's not really fair to judge the product. All right, a random eyeliner from NYX. This is the La Casa de Pap Papel. I don't know, I'm so bad at every language, even English. Uh, in Sophia, this is like a burnt orange eyeliner color. I just thought this was a cool eyeliner color. It is really cool. This isn't like an everyday color, but the formula is really creamy. It's very smooth. It glides evenly, nicely. It doesn't skip. I do like the NYX eyeliners. I have quite a few and I am a big fan of those. We, I used the eyeliners from the ColourPop Avatar collection. We have Groundbreaker, a bronzy color. We have Making Waves. This is a matte, almost like a periwinkle blue. We have uh, Blown Away, like a pearlized pink. And then Fiery Fierce, a gamavi. Like a reddish mauve color. I like all of these. I wish this one were um, a metallic or shimmery. I wish it weren't a matte eyeliner because I am one of those people that 
prefers a shimmery eyeliner versus a matte eyeliner. I haven't really investigated to see if they've broken. I haven't tried to pull them out of the, the base yet. I'm assuming they're broken because that's typically how the rough eyeliners work. But you just don't twist them up too much and they, they're fine. I think my favorite was probably Fiery Fierce. I love this color um, on my like, green eyes. It makes them look super green. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep these and continue using these. This would be a really pretty manicure color combination. Right? The Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color No Rules, the red orange. I, you know, I've said, I already said I love a red orange. For someone who wears almost no lip product, I think all my lip product is worn off, I love a red orange. These are pretty comfortable, they're a liquid lipstick. I feel like it wore evenly and it faded evenly. It didn't leave like a white ring. I have very small lips, so without like painting my teeth with this color, it it looked okay. I do have another color that I want to wear this month. It's a rose color, but I I love a red orange. I think this is a really pretty color and I, I like the formula. It's the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Moon Peach, also from the Avatar collection. I think this is a, a pretty color. I'm not going to wear this as a highlighter every day. It's very like icy pinky, but as an inner corner highlight, <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's uh, pearlized, but it's real, real shimmery looking. Oh, look at that white spot on my hand. Ooh. The ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Dream Much. This is a periwinkle shade. This is a gorgeous periwinkle shade. This is a an ultra glitter. I don't really call these ultra glitter because they're not glittery, but they're just the most shimmery things. This one is a little more sheer, so you can wear it over a color or if you want just a purple super shimmery eyes with pink reflect. Okay, we have two lip products that I feel kind of the same about. So this is the Rowan Kiss My... It says it's a liquid lip balm, um, and this is in the color Charlie. I don't... I mean, it applies like a gloss, so I, I don't... A liquid lip balm is confusing to me. It smells like mint. It smells so good. I think this color is really pretty. This is a really perfect like everyday color. Also the Fenty Cream Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. And kind of similar colors. This is a little more peachy. This is a little warmer. A little more like a brownish mauve. And then this is a more rosy mauve. Both are very comfortable. The ColourPop Avatar, actually this isn't ColourPop, it's 4th Ray Beauty. And Avatar Jasmine Tea Lip Mask. This smells incredible. I love the smell of jasmine tea. Oh man, this smells so good. It's a very nice lip mask. It's not very thick, but it is a nice hydrating lip mask. I will absolutely keep using this. And honestly, I wish I could drink this because it smells so good. And the last two things are both palettes and I loved both of them. The ColourPop Avatar palette I had to keep the sleeve because the sleeve is so cool. I did a look on my Instagram, like four looks with one palette. I used Water, Earth, Fire, Air. I did one with each look. And I like that you can do a look with, if you want, a monochromatic look. Because that's really what I've been enjoying a lot lately is monochromatic eyeshadow. You can, there's there's options for that. And of course you can mix and match. These shadows are really nice quality. Uh, there are shimmer options. There's mattes. This Fire Nation shade does have gold shimmer in it. You can easily blend that away and it kind of performs like a matte. Uh, this vortex shade is the same way. And this green right here, Earth Rumble, it looks almost black in the pan, but it's a dark green. It looks green when you put it on your eyelids and I just think it's beautiful. I but maybe my favorite thing that I used is the Stila Camouflage Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that I purchased at TJ Maxx and I had wanted this for a long time, but I, I didn't need it. So I'm gonna pay full price for it. Um, but it's so beautiful. This is actually a great quality palette. I haven't used a Stila eyeshadow in a very long time. And they weren't bad before, but this is even better than what I had used in the past. I mean, look at these colors. Camouflage just makes me happy. I love camouflage. I love these greens. It's very earthy. 
I was using this palette quite a bit last month. This shade right here is called Maverick. And it's, I mean, look at it. Look at it. And then you have this dark green called Fearless. Oh my gosh. And then you blend them together. It's so pretty. I'm so glad I own this palette. I'm really glad I found it at a discount, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. These are my tones. These are my tones. And those are my favorites and like my reviews of what I used the most in April. Let me know what you guys used. Do you love any of these products? What are your thoughts? Tell me your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.